Imagine you're camping in the middle of nowhere and you look up at night to see the most stars you've ever seen. You wonder, how many stars are in the Milky Way? Once you return to civilization and you have access to the internet, you find out that some estimates say that there are around 250 billion stars in the Milky Way, which is a lot of stars. And that's a lot of zeros in that number. Surely there's an easier way to write it. Lucky for us, there is. We can use scientific notation to write 250 billion in a simpler way. Scientific notation is a way of expressing numbers that are too big or too small to be written out completely, like 250 billion. We'll talk about how to write this huge number in scientific notation, but first, let's explore a simpler situation and talk about how we would write 3,500 in scientific notation. 3,500 written in scientific notation is 3.5 times 10 to the third power. There's a decimal at the end of 3,500, and we want to move this decimal to the left until we have a number between 1 and 10. We move the decimal point 3 spaces to the left to get 3.5. Since we moved the decimal point 3 spaces, that means we must multiply 3.5 by 10 to the 3rd power. When we multiply 3.5 by 10 to the 3rd power, we get 3,500, which lets us confirm that our scientific notation expression is correct. Now let's look at a really small number. How would you write 0 0.00067 in scientific notation? We're going to use the same strategy of moving the decimal point until we have a number between 1 and 10, but in this case, we have to move the decimal point to the right. We'll move the decimal point four places to get 6.7, which means we multiply 6.7 by 10 to the minus fourth power. To turn 6.7 into 0 0.00067, we need to multiply 6.7 by 10 to the minus fourth power, which tells us that our scientific notation expression is equal to the number we started with. But let's go back to our stars in the Milky Way. How would you write 250 billion in scientific notation? To write 250 billion in scientific notation, we need to move the decimal point 11 places to get 2.5, which means that we must multiply 2.5 by 10 to the 11th power. So there you have it, we wrote 250 billion in a much easier way. Now let's try a few more. While researching how many stars were in our galaxy, you find that there are 1.2 trillion stars in another known galaxy. What is this number written in scientific notation? That's right, 1.2 trillion written in scientific notation is 1.2 times 10 to the 12th power. We start with the decimal at the very end of the number and move it until it is between the 1 and the 2. If we count how many times we move the decimal point, we get 12, which means that we're multiplying 1.2 by 10 to the 12th power. Here's another problem. Imagine that you're now a scientist that took a sample of river water and is studying the critters under a microscope. This particular bacterium has a length of 0 0.0000073 meters. You don't like having to write that many zeros out, so you'd rather write this number using scientific notation. Which of the following expressions is correct? In scientific notation, 0 0.0000073 meters is expressed as 7.3 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. We moved the decimal point 6 places to get a number between 1 and 10, and since the number is less than 1, the exponent on the 10 is negative 6. Now that we've done a few problems, let's write down the big ideas when it comes to expressing numbers in scientific notation. First, Scientific notation is an easier way to write really small or really big numbers. For really big numbers, the exponent on the 10 is positive. For really small numbers, the exponent on the 10 is negative. When we have really big or really small numbers that contain lots and lots of zeros, it's easy to make mistakes when writing all of those zeros down. So in order to make less mistakes when doing problems, it's easier to use scientific notation. In this class, you'll be working with all kinds of big and small numbers, so it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with this notation.